May fellow Scots, on September 18th, our people will take to the polls to decide once and for all if Scotland should declare its independence. Now, both sides of this argument have valid points. The freedom-loving heirs of the Highland tradition and those who enjoy crawling like worms beneath British boots. The most recent polling shows that we are split 50-50 on the matter and I am hesitant to throw my support to either side, be it the right one or the obviously wrong one. Also, I would like to say a few things to those who are sceptical of Scottish independence. Scotland is the home to two-thirds of Europe's oil reserves. Notice how in no country rich in oil do the men wear pants. We also make a fine damn whiskey, and we spell whiskey right, too. But who, you ask, will lead the new free Scotland on the world stage? Alex Salmond, champion of Scottish independence, a safe choice. But for a leader who can stand in the grand tradition of William Wallace and Andy Murray, would you consider the return of Scotland's prodigal son, groundskeeper Willie? Well, I won't back down to world leaders because I haven't a clue who they are and I'm not willing to learn. Also, I've lived in America most of my life, so I've seen firsthand how not to run a country. For all these reasons, Scotland should be free, and more importantly, I should run it. For groundskeeper Willie, the sane and sensible chase. Gah! That's not a tattoo, it's a birthmark!